Try to let go of all your thoughts about anything else except for the breath. Just you and the breath right here. Can you be on good terms? A lot of us run away from the present moment because we don't know how to relate to the present moment well. But as meditators, we're learning how to dwell in the present moment with a sense of well-being. Partly for the sake of that well-being, and also because there's work that needs to be done. The Buddha has you reflect every day, every day. When the sun goes down, I could, I could die tonight. When the sun comes up, I could die today. Not to get you morbid or depressed, but to remind you, this is something that's going to happen someday. And when it does happen, it comes unexpectedly. So you've got to be prepared. Are you prepared? Is there anything in the mind that would try to latch on to something here that would make it difficult to go? Any greed that would latch on to some things? Any anger that would latch on to people you're upset about or situations you're upset about? If you have any of those things, it's going to make it difficult. It'll get in the way. When you go, you want to go with a clear mind, and you don't want to be easily distracted. So practice keeping your mind clear in the present moment, and not letting it get distracted by noises outside, thoughts inside, memories of the past, anticipation of the future. Just put those things aside. This way you get practice and the skills that you're going to need as the body begins to lose its strength as it grows older, as it has to deal with pain, as it deals with illness. These are a little bit of foretaste of what may happen when you finally have to go. Can you handle these things? If you can't handle it, cannot handle them now, what are you going to do? So now's your chance to get some good practice in. Unfortunately, this is not just for the sake of some place down in the future. There is a sense of well-being that comes. As you get the mind under control, you can think a lot more clearly. And when you think more clearly, then you act better, act more skillfully. Think in a more roundabout, circumspect way. Because all too often we come to rush judgments on things. We see something and immediately jump to conclusions. And the media encourage that, that everything is just in bits and pieces now. It leads you to fill in all the blanks, and the mind will fill in as many blanks as possible. So make sure that you're not filling in empty blanks, that you actually have some knowledge of what's going on here, awareness of what's going on here. So you're really in control. That way when you think about doing something, you can look at it from all angles, because you're coming from a place of solidity and well-being. You're not being rushed around. You look at something carefully, then you make a decision where you can act in this way. It's good for you right now, and it's good for you on in the future. This is the good part of the practice. It's good both for right now and for its implications that lead on into future times. So pay attention right now. There's work that needs to be done. It's good work straightening out your own mind. The work of the world is never done. You clean something today, oh, you come back the next day and it's gotten dirty again, so you can clean it again. In the old texts they say that the reward of cleaning up a place is you develop wisdom. This is a lot of it. You reflect on what you're doing, and as long as the sources for suffering are still there, you're going to have to keep on cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up. Ideally, you should learn how to put an end to the sources. And that kind of work can get accomplished. That kind of work can get done. So as you're here in the present moment, make sure you make the most of your time. Get a sense of well-being, get a sense of strength, so that you can use that well-being and use that strength to do what needs to be done.